<laughs> the world's overpopulated. No one's sitting around going, oh, Rick's not having kids, we're going to run out. But <laughs> it costs the average household in the West $200,000 to bring up a child, right? And you don't see that back. They don't want to pay you back. They're not grateful. They don't go, oh, thanks for having me every day. They go, I didn't want to be born, right? You, even if they get a top job, right, which they won't, OK? <laughs> You'll never see that money back, right? They just put you in a home, OK? And my kid, he'd be born into ridiculous wealth, wouldn't he? So... <laughs> he'd be a little cunt. <laughs> and on the other hand, he'd know that he could never live up to being as brilliant as his dad, right? <laughs> I'd, say, I'd say, you know, I worked my way up from nothing and I gave it to you and you're just a little useless hamster cunt. You'd go, yeah, and uh, that would... <laughs> Probably prey on his little mind a bit, wouldn't it? Like 11, 12, he'd sort of be a naughty boy, run with the wrong crowd, try and get out from under my shadow, right? And then he'd turn to drugs, and about 13, he'd come home and he'd overdose on my Afghan rug. 20 grand, <laughs> that was, right? And as he was there, right, convulsing and throwing up his fucking lungs, right? And with his little posh, high pitched fucking death rattle, right? <laughs> his little fucking dying words, he'd go, Do you love me now, Daddy? No. No. No, I never did, and that's why you're never going to be born, you useless fucking junkie hamstered cunt.